guys, I'm back with a new video tutorial and this time we talk about animated lights. In my last video I showed you how to create simple but awesome lights for your costume and props. So please check that out. I also wrote a beginner's book full of helpful information about basic LEDs. You can find the link in the video description. Even Zelda likes the book. Sadly, the advanced LED book will take a while, so I make a video tutorial first. It's a really tricky topic, but at least I wanted to help you to get started. For some inspiration, just check out the build of my Gauss rifle or Shadow Morn. So, let's go! In general, I'm using digital 5 volt LED strips with 60 LEDs per meter. The power supply works with a power boost 500C. It regulates the voltage to be just right for the LED strip. In addition, I can use it to charge the LiPo batteries I'm working with. To control the lights, I'm working with a Trinket Pro 5V, which is like a mini computer. Finally, I need a simple switch to turn everything on and off. First, cut the LED strip along the soldering pads and pull them out of the cover. Now let's start soldering. Get some simple wires and strip their ends. Connect a black cable with the ground pin and the red one with 5 volt. The data in pad gets an extra cable. To get the power supply working, connect the red and black cable with the 5 volt and ground pins of your power boost. The data cable needs to be soldered to the trinket. Just take pin number 6. Now let's connect the trinket with the power boost. On the back you can find a positive and a negative pin. Your cables need to be connected to the positive and negative pins of the power boost. You can use your scissors to trim the cables. I use a slide switch to turn everything on and off. Just solder a cable to each of the switch pins. Mat, EN and ground are the right pins for these cables. Just make sure the middle one goes to EN. So, and that's how pretty much all of my circuits look like. All you need is a LED strip, a trinket, a power boost and a switch. Now plug in the battery, connect the trinket with your PC and you're ready for some action. You will need to tell your lights what to do. Luckily, you don't really need to code anything. Adafruit.com has everything you need to know. Check out their amazing NeoPixel Uber guide, it's really helpful. You will need to install the Arduino program first, so check out the guide on their page. Just go to Sketchbook, Libraries, Adafruit NeoPixel and Strandtest. This code collection has pretty much all you need. I use them as a base for every of my prop and costume pieces. Just press the little button on the trinket until it lights up. Then it's ready for new instructions. Press the arrow and send the code to your strip. Now your LEDs will cycle through all the code in this collection. All you have to do now is to change some parts and set it again. I will tell you what all this code means in my upcoming book. For this example, I just want my lights to fade blue. For now, we only need a special part of the Adafruit code, the rainbow cycle. By adding a double slash in front of these lines, we are able to turn off these parts of the program. To change your colors, the speed and animation you need to edit a little bit of code. It's this part right here. What it does is to let the colors red, green and blue run through a sinus curve. The result is a rainbow colored animation. To let your LEDs light up in a specific color, you first need to turn off the other colors. Colors are in RGB, which is red, green and blue. The color values are right here, separated by a comma. If you need blue, change the values for the red and green parts to zero. Do you prefer red? Then change the green and blue parts to zero. You can also speed up the animation, reverse it, mix them up and change the color sequence. Just experiment or even better, wait for my book. It's also important where to hide your circuits and batteries. 
guess what is here? Right, in the pot. For my gas rifle I used this blue cover to hide two packs of batteries. The circuit was hidden inside this barrel thingy. Shadowmon is harder to guess. Right, one of the skulls is actually hollow. It's magic! Lights are awesome! Sadly, it's a little bit a too difficult topic to explain everything in just one video, but I hope I was able to inspire you to experiment a little bit. Just always remember, it's cool to be a Christmas tree. <laughs>